Hey guys, I didn't hear you with a new video, the one about the patch notes. I do want to point out that normally I used to get patch notes out before the server comes back up, but lately, and by lately I mean the last few months, the patch notes have come out near or after the server has been up, so that is why I'm so late with the patch notes. Can't make notes if I don't have the notes. If they start coming any later than this, I'll have to start making them the day after the patch note comes out, as I have limited time when I can actually make them. But is there even any value in a day old patch note video? I, I don't know, just so you guys all know. So buckle up and let's go. The best thing about this patch note in my book is the Black Spirits Adventure and how broken it is if you play it well to get free fail stacks. One pro tip I can give everybody is that you want to keep those loaded dice, the ones that roll a certain number, for the special board. Special board is however a rare chance to get onto it, but once on there you get Kefra bundles, crowns and stacks. Use your special dice to roll the stacks or Kefra bundles. Don't use your loaded dice or the arcana cards on the regular playing board. Sure you can use an arcana to move onto the special board and if you blast through that board and you have any arcana to return to the start, do it over and over again. Catch all those stacks. That's what I've been doing on PC and I have boatloads of them. Then we get the cooking and alchemy boxes for Guru, which I completely forgot to mention yesterday. They improve the way the boxes work, increase the profits. I'll have to check it out in game to see exactly what they change, but it's supposed to be really good. Like blue items can be used to make boxes at a one to three ratio. People sitting on tons of these are going to have a blast turning these in. Then we have some character changes, some minor changes were made, but improved movement caught my eyes. I really hope they fix the additional lag step for all the classes, but this is a good thing. I was always pretty annoyed by this extra step before the characters halted movement, and this was usually on all the melee classes, or many of them, that I actually liked. So which didn't have that, and that felt always pretty pretty clean. Then some class changes for a couple of classes, and a whole laundry list for Corsair. When I look at this, when I kind of look at these fixes here, I'm wondering how we were able to play this class, because <laughs> these are a lot of fixes, I gotta say. Content changes, the campsite drop chance buff, can't wait to try this one out combined with a scroll and maybe add a Doran's 25 hour buff on top of it, yeah, I, I saved a few of those. Maybe try going again for the potion pieces, I don't know, good thing, but freaking expensive as hell. And yeah, 50% on something that's like 0.0003% chance to drop. Not a whole lot for 60 mil. Then they also increased the number of days for new people on the Olvia servers from 30 days to 60 days, which is a good thing. You want those people to be a little bit safer than, uh, yeah, than chuck them in the deep end. Some item changes like Rifts being family bound versus characters and changes to some of the turn in item changes. Then some monster knowledge changes. Node war changes, but I don't really do nodes ever since crossplay was added or until they fix the 30 FPS old gen versus 60 FPS PS5 versus 120 Xbox FPS next gen issue. So I can't comment on this and I'm pretty unhappy about there's still not being any news about PlayStation 5 still running at 60 FPS. So UI changes to how exchanges work and some other minor changes. Then we get to the events and we start with a pocket of sunshine. You get stuff from monsters, you combine set stuff and then you go summon a boss for reward. Though it gets worse from here. You now need extra people to do your events with so you can spawn a special chest with more loot. I'm a fan of group content like where it's optional. This is forced group content where if you want the actual reward and the, it's, it's an event so with I'm not a fan of these so I, I won't be probably doing this. Then the next three events, uh, the next three events, then the next event is a store event. Be sure to keep an eye on the store for 100 silver for the coming next days. Then, then the next event is just a dice game event where we'll get five rolls per day instead of the normal three rolls while the well, black dice adventure game is new. And then we get the special rifts event that can drop boss gear and yeah probably not gonna get any boss gear like usual so really bad rng and uh yeah that's the uh, patch notes people as you can tell in the background the new outfit is pretty nice and i'm having a hard time deciding for which character i want one i'm definitely not gonna buy 20. <laughs> i'm iron don't get rusty and i'm out